Still a lot of reverberations after the U.S. Supreme Court decided that the issue of abortion should be in the hands of individual states. And that decision last month, uh, you've heard a lot of back and forth, and even here in Illinois, which has very liberal access to abortion, uh, you've got the governor and the legislative leaders, Senate President and House Speaker, saying that uh, they're going to call a special session at some point. When? Not too sure, but uh, we'll get a reaction to that and much more here now with... Kevin Grillo, he is the organizer and director for March for Life Chicago. Kevin, thanks for taking time with us this morning. You guys got a uh, event coming up in Chicago Saturday. Uh, what's going on? Uh, thanks for taking time with us here on WMAY. Good morning. Good morning, Greg. Thank you. Yes, on Saturday, July 9th at 2 p.m., we're gathering thousands of people, Midwesterners, Illinoisans, especially in Chicago, to march and rally in response to Dobbs' opinion that just broke a couple weeks ago and has huge implications and very important ones for protecting preborn life. So what do you anticipate the rally focusing on um, if, if indeed uh, the U.S. Supreme Court said, hey, it's going to be in the hands of states? Uh, Illinois uh, seems to have already made the decision as to how they're going to approach abortion access. Uh, so what's the, what's the message of the rally going to be? Well, it looks at, we have over 95 pregnancy centers in Illinois that we promote and support. So the pro-life movement stands ready to help women and children, as opposed to just pushing abortion that a lot of Illinois representatives are doing right now. So this rally will focus on promoting those opportunities, supporting more women and children, and looking at how Illinois' laws are really out of step with the entire U.S., because Governor Pritzker has aligned them with China and North Korea by promoting abortion through all nine months. Kevin Grillo with us. Uh, he is the director for March for Life. They've got an event coming up in Chicago this weekend. We'll give you again more details on that. Uh, but Kevin, uh, your reaction to the governor uh, and uh, the House Speaker and Senate President saying that uh, they're going to call a special session at some point, when exactly that's going to be, no date specific, but they said in the months ahead, they want to see what happens across the country and uh, what kinds of needs the state of Illinois can, uh, can fill uh, in the overall conversation about access to abortion, uh, your reaction to to the idea of a special session dealing with this? I think it's telling that originally it called for a special session right away and then it's delayed. I think it's a lack of leadership if you're just waiting to see what everyone else does and then move on something. Right now, we are in a position in the Midwest that could really use, and many states right now in the Midwest, like Kentucky, Missouri, South Dakota, are paving the way to promote and again, once again, like, protecting preborn life in their state, and moving forward into a future where abortion is not needed or necessary, whereas the governor is taking things backwards. Well, uh, Kevin, what's your reaction to, to those who say there needs to be access? Uh, and this this is an issue of health care, something that uh, can't be uh, pushed underground, as it may be done in other states. Uh, young people who, who may be the victims of rape, uh, having to cross state lines somewhere. Uh, women who uh, may have a, a certain type of pregnancy that could uh, deem to, to be fatal for themselves and the child. Uh, what's your reaction to those who say that uh, Access to abortion needs to be legal, safe, and uh, widely available. It's important to know it's not safe at all in Illinois. I mean, the governor re removed any kind of, with the 2019 Reproductive Health Act, the regulations on health care, like abortion clinics, were just repealed. And they're not regularly inspected. And this opened the door. Just recently it was announced in Rockford a doctor who had been performing abortions, Dr. Dennis Christensen, uh, he closed his abortion clinic in 2012 after the Illinois Health Department found it was unsafe and unsanitary. And they were fighting him. So he closed down, then moved to Wisconsin, set up shop there, and continued unsafe practices. But now Wisconsin is stopping, so he's looking at moving back into Illinois, and he can do so now because Illinois doesn't regulate health care when it comes to abortion. Wouldn't, but, but, wouldn't, but wouldn't abortion be unregulated if it's banned by a state? I mean, wouldn't that push the access to abortion underground, making it less safe? I don't think you can get much less safe than unsanitary and unsafe that's already occurring right now. So pushing things underground is really looking at – people talk about crossing state lines. That's a common practice in the United States, so it's not a 
there's no pathways. There's no, <laughs> it's not a, a big stretch to do so. But I think we have a long ways to go if Illinois is pushing taxpayer-funded abortions right now. Uh, governor is looking at expanding taxpayer funding of abortions. Mayor Loy Lightfoot pledged half a million dollars to do so, including covering things like out-of-state travel and housing for people to come to Illinois for abortion. This is against what the majority of Americans want. Fifty-four percent of Americans are against taxpayer-funded abortions. And this even goes beyond using Illinois' limited funds and financial situation to pay for out-of-state Abortion is, is really out of step with what Illinois people want. Kevin Grillo, he is the director of March for Life Chicago. Again, we'll uh, tell people about the march here in a moment. But, Kevin, is there any middle ground here? When it comes to, I mean, I think we're seeing lots of different movement on either ways. But you're looking at, in Texas, the one important thing is that this Texas funds $100 million a year towards helping women and children uh, this is prenatal care, materials, financial support in order to build out families. I think the middle ground is making place in a, a, an area, in a state, in a government that support families rather than looking to destroy them. All right, Kevin Grillo, uh, give us again the details of the march that you've got planned this Saturday in Chicago. July 9th, Federal Plaza, Saturday, 2 p.m. We have Pastor Chris Butler from the South Side. Amy Gerke from Illinois Right to Life. Uh, multiple women will be speaking, one about having a, had an experience with an abortion, one who has chosen life. These are incredible stories that are going to be spread out and, and discussed, and uh, lots of people are coming downtown to Federal Plaza at 2 p.m. on Saturday, July 9th. Kevin Grillo, March for Life Chicago. I appreciate you taking the time this morning, and we'll talk again soon, I imagine, all right? Thanks, Greg. It is Springfield's Morning News. I'm Greg Bishop.